Let's do a little bit of working and then we'll find out whether we're on the right track or not. Uh, negative two for starters, uh, who agrees? Yeah, got a few hands up. Not everyone though, hands down. Can we just confirm, what's the line that would precede this? What comes before this negative two? Yes, Ray. So, uh, um, so change A to one and B to minus three. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and by the way, we have a fancy word for this. When you take the letters, the protein rules, and you swap back, you replace them with the numbers, what's that called? Yeah? Substitution. Substitution, very good. Substitution, just a fancy word, it literally <coughs> means swap, or replace, or switch, right? So I'm going to pop these numbers back into their slots, and exactly like Frank said, the A is a 1, and you're adding negative 3 to that. So this is calling you back to integers, right? So that does equal negative 2. So I would have written that there. Lovely. Okay. Uh, again, what line of working are we going to put in for part B? What are you going to do before you get to this answer? Yes, Rinesh. Yeah, time, like, substitute them in Okay, can you tell me what to, can you tell me what to write? Uh, c equals a half. Yep. And B equals negative 3. Yep. And then A is 1. So, you can see by the way, this step here, maybe some of you can do it in your head, that's lovely, but I always like to write this step down because then I can <laughs> not like, not just get it wrong just because I read the question wrong or something like that. I've got all the right pieces there. Okay, what's half of negative three? Half of negative three? Yeah, two. Negative one point five. I'm gonna write it as negative one and a half. I negative one point five is the same. We've seen these are the same idea. But um, I started with fractions, so I'm gonna try and stay in fraction land if I can. And then I take away one. Is that does that look okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Now this is a bit interesting. Have a look carefully at this line, right? Negative one and a half, and then you take away one. Again, what does that mean? What do I do with this? Yeah, Nikhil? So you go like more to the negative yeah, side? Yeah, yeah, very good. In fact, if you have um, an answer like this, and maybe maybe you got this answer, which is fine, uh, I'd love all of you to... Nikhil was talking about the, um, the number line just now. Now, if you put... Uh, if I put 1, <laughs> negative 1, and negative 2 over here, negative 1 and a half is where I'm starting. Yeah, so that's like halfway in between those. And then this minus one tells me which direction to go in, right or left? Yeah. Go to the left, yeah? So I'm gonna go that way, negative one, which means I'm even more negative than I was before. So in fact, I think the answer is negative two and a half, okay? Um, negative half, by the way, or a half rather, that's not a crazy answer. Can you see where a half comes from? If, like, it's a very easy to mistake to make. Where does it come from, what's happened? A couple of things, yeah. Take away the one. Okay, for starters, you're like, oh, one and a half take away one. That is a half, right? And also you might think, oh, there's two negatives there. Two negatives make a positive. Two negatives do make a positive sometimes. When do two negatives make a positive? Someone else hasn't said anything yet. Yeah. yeah like next to each other one is like three taking negative two or something. So something like that to this, <coughs> when you see them next to each other, like that. Now, by the way, there's actually an operation hiding in there. What's the operation hiding when you don't see one written yet? Multiplication. Yeah, it's times. So, do you remember we did that table, right? When we saw negative <coughs> numbers times negative numbers? They do give you positive numbers, right? But when you're adding and subtracting, that's different. We're moving, we're shuffling up and down or left and right on the number line, okay? Um, Nikhil, you had a hand up. So, if it's a positive number, subtracted a negative number, then that's a positive number. Yes, very good. And the reason why, uh, so do I have one on the board? I don't. So if I had something like 1 take away negative 3, right? Do you remember what this is like? Think back to up. Do you remember what this is like? These negatives are like weights that are holding you down. And you're taking away some weight. So where does the house go when he pushes all that furniture out? Do you remember? He goes up, right? So that's why the result is going to be bigger, higher than before. Okay, done. So with negative 3, is that a negative 2? Is that an x in there? Or this one here? So this is... That's a, that's a big pair of brackets. Oh. So if you see just those brackets together, then it's like, oh, I'm multiplying these just Yeah, it does, you're right. I could have written that a little bit clearer. Okay, so negative two and a half, glad we cleared that up. Um, is this one also negative two and a half? Should we find out? Should we give this a go? I'm gonna do the, what did Turin call it again? What's it called, starting with S? I'm gonna do the substitution step. Okay, so let's give this a go. Two B, what's B again? Negative three. It's negative three, so I'm just going to write that. Two times negative three minus C. Minus 
Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep, that's what's on the top there. And then I'm going to divide by three. Okay. Two times negative three. I'm going to just do one stamp at a time. Two times negative three. Yep. Negative six. Negative six. I've got a minus a half there. And I haven't done anything with this. What's that thing on the bottom called again? It starts with a D. Divisor. Well, it's almost it, it, very similar to a divisor. It's the it's the denominator. In a fraction, I call it the denominator. Okay. Um, what can I what can I do on the top here on the numerator? Minus six minus a half. Yeah. True. You can do negative six minus a half, which is negative five over and a half. Ooh. Ooh, hold on a second. Very close. But this is the same thing we were looking at here, right? I'm going to start at negative 6, which is like way over here. And then I'm going to go which way? Left. To the left. I'm going to get even more negative, aren't I? So it's negative 6.5. And, and that's divided by 3. I'm running out of space a little bit here. Um, but when I have a look and I say equals, what can I do with this that can help me? This question is a lot trickier than I thought. Yeah. You can have um, negative six and a half divided by three, so <coughs> Okay, that's good. I'm, I know you guys um, shouldn't do this and keep going, but I've run out of space. So what can I do here? I'm still not finished yet, am I? Any takers? Yeah, go ahead. You can answer the question, which is um, <coughs> negative three, <coughs> negative three and <coughs> negative three and a quarter. Ne okay, so you're going straight to an answer. I'm not sure if I'm convinced that is the answer yet. Let's try and work out what's going on here. This is a bit hard to work with. I, I don't think any of us, including me, are looking at it thinking, oh, obviously, right? So I want to, do you remember, we can change the form of our numbers to make it a little easier to work with. Instead of, yeah, well, I can either go to a decimal or I could go to a mixed, I'm a mixed number already. I could go to a percentage. There's one more thing I could go to, which I think would be the easiest. When you've got a fraction and the top number's bigger than the bottom. Do you remember what that's called? Yeah. Improper. An improper fraction. Now watch why this is useful. How do I write this as an improper fraction? Can we convert it? Um, yeah, finish. go ahead. 13 over 2. Um, there's a minus sign as well. So minus. Oh, 13. Yeah, 13 over 2. And I'm dividing by 3. Mm. Okay, we're almost there. What do I do with this? Yeah. You could put, you could put, uh, you could make it a three over one. Okay, so yeah, I can, I can write that. Yeah. And when you divide fractions, what do you do? Yeah, Kimmy. Uh, make the reciprocal. So okay. Flip around. Oops, that's a thirteen. So if I turn this into a reciprocal, that's going upside down. What does that do now? What do I? Because that's not, these are not the same number. Where am I going to go ahead? Yeah, Darcy. So you times and then you just times it. Okay, and I'm pretty much there now. I've only got one more thing to do. I'm just going to yeah multiply straight across, right? So negative 13 times 1 is? Negative 13. And 2 times 3 is? Okay. Now, that question was surprisingly difficult. We really had to go through a few spins and turns to get there, right? But I'm pretty happy with the way that we went through it. Can we just rewind for a second? What were the things that we did? What was this first step? Can you tell me what we did? It has a name, remember? Someone else? Someone here remember? Yeah? Substitution. Substitution. So that's the first thing you do. What did I do from, uh, really, what did I do all the way in here? What were these two lines about? What did I do? Yeah. You simplified the question. Okay, I did simplify, right? I'm going to call this step two. But the important thing is, I just worked with this numerator. I didn't worry about the denominator yet. I didn't confuse myself by doing too many things at once. Okay? And then the last thing I did, this is step three, is I had to work out what to do with this divide by three. And it was a little bit icky, but we got there eventually. Okay? Do you want me to do the last question? Or are you yeah. happy with it? Would you like me to do it? Hands up, who'd like me to do it on the board? Hands up. Okay, lots of you. Alright, let's do it. So by the way, um, just have a look before we do this last one. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of working. Uh, when I had a look and I walked around, I don't think I saw anyone with even maybe three or four. Maybe you're doing a lot of things in your head. Don't do that. I want to see the way that you've actually approached the question. Okay, yes. Oh, I only did like three. Okay, like I said, I want to see, I mean, maybe if you did a few lines less, that's okay. But if you have like no lines of working, that's kind of a big problem. Because I need to show, you, I need to see you show me the way you were thinking. Okay?